Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick overview of color correction and grading in Final Cut Pro. This afternoon was kind of a, a bomb in the class because uh, I had an older version on that computer in 1010 versus what we have in the edit base. So um, this is actually the version of Final Cut, the latest one, 10.3.2, that you'll be using in the edit base. So let's take a look. I've loaded up a clip that's kind of dark that needs some color correction. So let's open up the windows and try to fix this. First off, we need to see a couple of windows. The first is what we call the inspector in Final Cut. And if you'll need to see where my cursor is right now, I'm going to click on this little icon and it pulls up um, all sorts of tools that you can use to uh, uh, change some effects with this video. You can transform it, crop it, distort it, stabilize it, all sorts of uh, compositing effects. However, what you don't see here is color correction. And to get color correction tools, you have to open yet another window. To do that, I'll go up over to the window menu and click on Show in Workspace and click on the Effects tab. And that, as you can see, opens up this effects window down here. And you can see all sorts of presets for uh, black and white, aged film look, aged paper, artifacts. And as I scroll over these, you can see it actually change on the canvas. The, the effects are just automatically rendered on screen. Here's an, something called bad TV. That's hilarious. But color correction is the one we want right here. And so to color correct this first clip that I've got in the timeline, I'm going to drop and drag this color correction. And before I do that, you'll notice, yeah, as I said, there's no color correction up here. But as soon as I do that, I drop and drag and just place it right on that clip. Boom, look what just popped up here. Under the effects uh, window is this color corrections board. And I'm going to click on that button. And that is your color correction tool and we'll be able to see in real time changes to the clip as we move these little sliders up and down. So let me explain what these sliders are. First off, you have kind of have, um, well, there's three different categories. You have exposure, saturation, and color. And this gets into actually changing the color, which is something you may need to do, but not always. Uh, color balance or white balance might be an issue and that was that would be something you'd use. Saturation is the intensity of the color but really the probably the most common is exposure. Basically saying do we need to lighten this clip? Do we need to um, darken it? Do we need to bring up the blacks or bring up the highlights? And you can use a global adjustment which is right here but that typically is not the best tool. It's better to work with the more discriminating um, tools that allow you just to control shadows or midtones or highlights, as you see here. Watch what happens with highlights. I'm going to uh, raise this button, and oh, yeah, it starts to really in, uh, brighten up there. I might even change the midtones a little bit. Yeah, and that might be too bright. There's a lot of loss of darks. But watch what happens if I go use the shadows and, uh, and then darken the shadows a little bit, increase the contrast. And wow, that is a big change from what we had before. And if you want to really see just instantly, you know, compare what you've done to the previous clip, all you have to do is uh, click that little back arrow and, and watch this. That's the way it was originally. And now with the color correction added, boom that is a lot better. You can just see the difference. So you might say, OK, well, that's one clip. But how? what if I wanted to apply those same changes to other clips along the timeline down here? It looks like pretty much all of this video is underexposed. And we've only fixed this one. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the clip, go up, and click Copy in the Edit menu. Go to Edit and Copy. OK? And now, for any clip that you would like to apply those changes to, you know, it could be just one clip or, like, say, all the other clips left in the timeline, you then just go back to Edit and then click on Paste. Uh, just click Paste, I believe. No, Paste Attributes, this one right here. Paste attributes. Now watch what happens. I click on that, and it will ask me, "Do you do you want to you know change the color correction on those other clips?" And if I leave that checked, yes, that will just apply the changes. I can take it off, no, or only if I've done a, several different types of of uh, attributes, I can you know pick and choose which ones I want applied to those other clips. 
Uh, anyway, I do want to apply those color correction changes. I'm just going to click placed and boom, there we go. And now, as you can see, as I scroll through this entire timeline, look at that. Every one of those clips is now fixed and I've applied those changes. So that is really pretty cool. Um, again, it's right up here. Uh, if you need to go back and, and, and fix it. Uh, by the way, if you wanted to make color changes, you could click on the color mode here. And, you know, if you wanted to um, change the midtones, you can um, uh, change the the. The, the, these color, you can move these around if I wanted to make it bluer or if I want to make it warmer uh, as, you, as you can see I can move this back and forth along the spectrum and really change the the uh, color values um, here's saturation if you wanted to change you know saturation more or less obviously desaturate makes it look almost like black and white um, so there's that's really what you do here but again exposure probably is the one that you're going to use the most if you just wanted to make the clip black and white, again, you could just click on this and you can see instantly how it converts to black and white. You would just take this and drop it and drag it right over there. So there you have it, uh, color correction in Final Cut Pro 10.3.2.